Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how you can easily split PDF documents into several new PDF files using the Cloudversive Document Conversion Connector in Power Automate. This operation will yield exactly one new document per page of the original PDF, and it's super easy to use. To start, I'm clicking Create and setting up an instant cloud flow. After giving my flow a name and selecting the option to trigger it manually, I'm heading quickly over to the Flow Diagram page. From here, my first step is to grab the PDF file that I want to split. I'm using the get file content action through the SharePoint connector, so I'm first selecting my site address and then using the file picker to get my demo PDF file. After the file ID populates, I'm ready to move on. At this stage, it's time to involve the Cloudmersive document conversion connector. After clicking new step, all I have to do is type Cloudmersive into the search bar and select the document conversion connector with the lime green logo from the list of options below. Please note that if it's your first time using a Cloudmersive connector, you'll need to provide your Cloudmersive API key at this stage. To get one, you just need to register a free account on our website, cloudmersive.com, and copy the API key into a clearly labeled field. Once you do that, it'll save for your next use and you won't have to worry about that step again in future flow diagrams. Now that I'm ready to configure the connector, I just need to parse my demo file content into the first parameter using the dynamic content window. After that, I can input any file name I want, so I'm just copying the text from the previous step to make it easy. Those are the only two mandatory steps, but you'll notice there's a third option here at the bottom as well. Setting this to yes will return full document encoding for each new file, while setting it to no will return each page's contents as temporary URLs instead. The no option will make the connector more efficient for larger operations, and it's actually the default setting. I'm setting mine to yes because my demo file is really small and it's not necessary. At this point, the flow is finished, so I'm clicking save and waiting a few seconds for Power Automate to wrap that up. Once it's ready, I'm clicking test in the upper right corner of the page and clicking through a few windows until I can finally click run flow and await my results. My flow runs pretty quickly given it's only a three page PDF file and once it's done, I can click on the connector to review the results. As you can see, within the response body, I now have three individual PDF document encodings returned in order and separated by page number. All that's left now is setting up a subsequent create file action to generate the actual PDF documents, which can be done easily using output content through the dynamic content window. With this demo flow complete, we've reached the end of this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and look out for more Cloudmersive Power Automate demonstration videos in the near future.